If you listen to NBA players, James Harden was the real MVP this year. Literally, listen. They told us. Hey guys, I'm Melissa Salvatore for 8012. We're talking about the first ever NBA Players Awards, a ceremony that makes us wonder if, well, we're gonna be out of a job soon. NBA awards have always been voted on by the media. The players decided to take matters into their own hands this year with the ceremony in Vegas. They gave out new awards like coach you most want to play for, hardest to guard, and player you secretly wish was on your team. Where things got interesting is they also gave out real awards like MVP and best defender. The players picked differently from the media for both. This continues a trend where players just keep distancing themselves from the media. First, social media in general let athletes say exactly what they wanted without a tape recorder in their face. Then, sites like the Players' Tribune launch. That's where DeAndre Jordan finally explained himself after his free agency war. Now they're giving out their own awards? On the surface, this is great. Cut out the media middleman and let us have direct access to the athletes. This can't end well though. If you think Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith get angry on first take now, can you imagine how delirious they'll get at athletes who shun the media entirely? Reaction to the Players' Tribune launch from the media was already described as defensive. Now you're taking away these reporters' right to pick MVP? Have you ever tried taking away even a free cookie from a beat writer at a press box buffet? How long until post-game quotes are just issued out on press releases and the media doesn't even get to ask the questions? Let's also not forget, things like the Players' Tribune are already giving us only filtered info screened by every athlete's camp. Isn't it a little hypocritical for an athlete to say, we don't need the media until they retire and need a job? So athletes totally shunning the media is a great thing. For any sports fans who don't watch ESPN, listen to talk radio, read game recaps online, or consume information anywhere outside Twitter, catch you later on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. We'd love to hear more from you, so subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and leave a comment, possibly even a joke, like why don't animals play poker in the jungle? Because there's too many cheetahs.